guys, so today's video is kind of funny. <laughs> it's another why I quit Hollister video, but this one's like really not that complicated. There's only like one question and then I just say like good things and then bad things about working in there and yeah. I just decided to wake up and put on makeup today, so we're gonna record this video. But as y'all know, um, I was a assistant manager at Hollister, which was kind of cool because it was like my first big girl job of like being a manager and stuff like that. And it was really cool to see like you know me starting off as like my first job in there, and then finally graduating from college and finally becoming a manager and just seeing like myself go up in there. Does that make any sense? Like I started from the bottom and now I'm here, even though it's not really that like high up in the company, it was just like pretty cool to see it still. <laughs> so pretty much, um, when I got hired and everything like that, I finished my MIT uh, training and everything like that. I worked Black Friday, I uh, worked back to school, I worked uh, Christmas as well. I learned a lot, I do have to say, I did learn a lot. Um, it wasn't like anything where it was like a waste of my time or anything like that. I really honestly did learn a lot while working there. Why did I quit? The best answer that anyone can really give you is that I got a job for something that I got my degree in. So if you guys know, I went to Savannah College of Art and Design, got my degree in photography. So working at Hollister as manager isn't really in that degree. They don't really go hand in hand. Um, and it was really funny because for like months I tried to get a full-time job in photography and I found nothing. And the great thing about Hollister is, is that if you worked for the company before, it's a really great opportunity for you to come back as a manager as long as you have a college degree. So they really, really helped me in my time of need. Um, when I was going around job hunting and no one would hire me, I knew that this place um, that I worked for forever ago would like consider me at least for um, a manager position and they really helped me like you know get back on my feet right after college even though I'm not working there anymore I really do appreciate them giving me that opportunity to help me out with like you know paying all my bills and everything it was really funny because I started working a few months at Hollister and then I got a call from R Donnelly so R Donnelly is like this huge uh, corporation of printing um, like magazines and stuff like that. It's not anything too flashy, but they do work for Belk. And Belk has their photo studio in um, Pineville, which is the south part of Charlotte. I tried to get in contact with them for like six months, even like before I graduated, and then the lady I was talking to like stopped working there, and so I didn't have any connection towards there, and I was like finally like, okay, well, if I haven't heard anything back from this long, and I've sent them all my portfolio and my website and everything like that, and I haven't heard anything back, maybe this is the time where I should go get their job. So that's why I went to Hollister, and then I worked for Hollister, I think, for maybe like a month. And then they called me asking me to come in, and I was like, what? I like just got like a full-time job because you guys took like six months to call me back. It was kind of terrifying. <laughs> I started this new job, and I was like, why would I quit it? you know, for this new one when they took too long, I didn't know what to do and I was like super freaking nervous. So what I ended up doing was I kept my job at Hollister and my two days off at Hollister, I would actually go work at the studio. And working at the studio was like so cool because it's obviously what I went to school for. I already knew everything. I knew Capture One, I knew the equipment that they use. Obviously they use Canon cameras, so I knew everything about the Mark III's. I didn't really need to be trained on anything besides the processing part and the kind of special detail oriented things that they did. So I loved working at Belk and I always thought of it as like kind of like my day off and like my fun day off even though I did have to wake up at like 6 a.m. every day. And I still do but it was just like so much fun being like oh my god it's my day off and I get to go to the studio tomorrow. The best thing was is that they actually pay you a lot more too. But it was a really good balance of working at Hollister five days out of the week and then two days out of the week working at the studio. Now what eventually happened is that I was kind of wearing myself out. I was like so tired and the worst would be when I um, had to close the night before and I wouldn't get off till 10 p.m. and then I would have to go to sleep at like 11 or midnight and then wake up at 6 a.m. the next day. And in all honesty I did wake up at like 6.45 most mornings and maybe like 7 o'clock if I was like really sleepy and I feel like by that point I was just like I was so tired and I was like oh my gosh I was like this is this is wearing me out even though I am making a lot more money and everything like that main reason why I did quit Hollister is to work for the studio full-time and it's going pretty well so far I guess you could say now am I making enough money as I was working two jobs not so much when you're working two jobs, it's like Hollister would give me like a chunk of my paycheck and then you know the studio would give me just like maybe about half of that. And I only worked maybe four days out of the two weeks rather than like 10 days out of two weeks. So it just made more sense to put more of my time into the studio because I would get paid more and stuff like that. But it obviously doesn't get paid as much as working two jobs. Does that kind of make sense? 
I feel like I'm confusing everyone now. <laughs> so we're just gonna continue. I just pretty much left Hollister because I got a great opportunity that was in the field that I went to school for, and I loved working there a lot more. Now, did I love working at Hollister as well? Yes, I did. I loved all of my associates that I worked with. My managers were great. I learned so much from them. And I learned a lot about like customer service as well, working there too. I think I have maybe like two things I didn't like about working at Hollister. Now, the one thing is kind of difficult because a lot of people say this, a lot of managers say this, but it's kind of confusing. So a lot of managers that have their college degree and they start working for Hollister, they actually always say that we don't make enough money. Now, what I got paid I think was $13 to $14 an hour. It was something like that. And I think that's actually a really good amount of money because I was used to making, you know, $7.25. So I'm like, $13 an hour? What? That's crazy. That's a great that's a great pay I think. When I was first working there I was like man I'm making bank like I get to you know pay for my bills and I never thought I could pay for by myself and I was making a decent living for myself. Now if you're living by yourself yes it's a good paycheck and everything like that. My rent is 400 it's really cheap rent and most people who were managers at Hollister's their rent would be about 800 to a thousand. So yes if your rents more and then you have a Hollister paycheck doesn't really match up like that. Doesn't really cover all your costs. A lot of the managers that I knew, like their parents had to help them out with like, you know, paying their bills and rent and stuff like that. And I was like, oh my God. Well, I'm sitting over here and I'm like, man, this is the most money that I've ever been making because I just graduated college. So the point is, you know, um, bills, a lot of people said that didn't cover them. The second part of people saying that they didn't get paid enough is that a lot of their friends were working for other corporations like Target. Uh, maybe they were working for a bank. Um, or even like bigger retail stores like Belk. And working in those companies, they actually pay you more. With their apartment, that's rent, that's maybe like 800, which is actually pretty average in Charlotte if you're living in a one bedroom apartment, that would cover it. So a lot of people who left Hollister, they would go work at PacSun, they would go work at Aldo Shoes, they would go to work at Target, just because it had better pay. And we were kind of doing the same job as they were, but I think that their hiring process is a little bit more specific. I know that with American Eagle they have like a store manager, assistant managers, and like a hiring manager, and then maybe like someone to do displays and stuff like that. Well, Hollister managers, we did pretty much everything. Which I don't I don't complain about because I was like, well, we're a manager, we're supposed to do everything that the store is supposed to be upkept with, right? Well, with other stores, they actually have managers that have certain tasks. So they have someone for recruiting, they have someone for store display, they have someone specifically for customer service. And Hollister is just kind of like a big umbrella of that. But, like I said, I did learn a lot from it. But the companies that do have those specific like little branches of certain things for managers to do, kind of a little bit more efficient. So I know I'm throwing like a lot at everybody. <laughs> um, but I mean this is what things that like other people said, not necessarily me, you know. People who were like a little bit older than me that was like 25 working there, they're just like, man, my friends are working here and they're making like twice as much as I do a year. And it's like, oh, they're making twice as much and I'm making this? Wait a second, that sounds really weird to me. But for, you know, any college graduate that's just recently graduated, you'd be fine making $13 an hour because I was. A lot of people said pay was the thing, especially when another job offered me more money, I was going to take it. So. The only second thing, um, the pay thing was just like, it's a really big umbrella of like that whole entire thing. So that's one. Two is the drama that goes down. It's a lot of he said, she said things. And it's because there's a lot of high schoolers and I don't know. Maybe it's this, I don't know. I, this sounds really bad, but maybe it's like some of those sorority girls too. But I have sorority friends as well. So maybe it was just the girls I was working with. But there was a lot of like things that went down that I'm just like, oh, oh buddy, oh my god, um, how did this entire thing happen? It was like, it was just like too much. And especially if like I would say something, then someone would go off and be like, well, Allie said this, and it's like, no, I probably shouldn't have said that, but that doesn't mean you go around telling people that. Does that make sense? I don't know. The, the whole drama thing, I was just like, huh, I don't feel like dealing with this because I graduated college for a reason. But I did absolutely love everyone that I worked with. I never had like that big of a problem with like anyone. And if I did, I would mention it to someone. <laughs> Besides that, um, customers were sometimes crazy, but I mean, that's customers for you. And it's nice now that I work in a studio, I don't have to deal with customers. <laughs> but since I do my own photography as well, you know, you have those customers dash clients to do with as well to make them happy. 
So to sum up everything, the reason why I quit Hollister was pay. I got another job that was in my degree and it paid more. And then just kind of like the drama that went with it. That's just kind of like a smaller part of it because I feel like drama is almost everywhere in the workplace. But this one was kind of bad. Like I wouldn't get scheduled with people for certain reasons and I didn't do anything. So, But that's, a, that's another story that I'm not going to get into. That's a stupid story because I don't even work there anymore. I think that is everything. I love my new job. Um, I remember I was kind of miserable towards the end of being at Hollister. So um, definitely making this switch to a new job. It was just definitely for me and it makes me so much happier now that I like work at a really awesome studio and I get to do my own photography as well. Now one thing I do miss is having the clothes at discounted price because I got a lot of nice clothes during like winter and fall and now like my spring and summer is coming and I'm like crap what do I wear? <laughs> and it's funny because I actually haven't worked there since you know January and now it's April. If you have any more questions at all, leave a comment down below. Um, I know that I have gotten a few uh, comments and questions on the MIT video that I made. A lot of them are super specific, so I've been trying to help you guys out with that. With the questions that they asked me, I actually don't remember. I mean, I remember my interview, I just don't remember the questions they asked me specifically. It was just mainly about like, how do you do teamwork and collaboration and things? And I just said things about art school stuff. Alrighty guys, that's everything for today. I will see you on a later video. Bye guys.